What would you do if Jesus looked at you and just jumped all over you? Just got onto you big time. Good morning, guys and girls. September 1st. September 1st, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, ninth month of the year. We just jumped into the ninth month of the year. We get through this month and we'll be in the last quarter of 2020. A crazy year, a year that not too many of us want to go through another one just like it. But listen to this right here. September 1, we're looking at Luke 941. And this one is really something. Jesus answered. And he said, you people have no faith and your lives are all wrong. <laughs> how would you, how would you feel if Jesus walked up to you and said you that you people have no faith? Now, Jesus told his disciples, he told his closest friends, he told a lot of people, you don't have enough faith. You don't have enough faith. You don't have enough faith. And to be honest, I pray for faith because I don't have enough faith. I got a lot of faith. But I'm sure I don't have as much as Jesus wants me to have. So in reality, probably Jesus is looking down here right now and saying, you people have no faith. Here's the bad part, though. And your lives are all wrong. What did I write about that? Good spawning activity every year is essential for our lakes to maintain good fish population in today's heavily fished waters. Spring rains create the problem. When lakes rise, beds that are already made are too deep to receive adequate spawn sunlight for those fish to spawn. Beds built at the highest water levels are killed out when the lake level drops back. So you get a lake up high and they build a, they build a bed and then the water falls off the eggs and it is killed out. Wrong spawning conditions can be devastating. Does the wrong level of faith affect the way that we live? <laughs> You bet it does, because we end up placing our confidence and trust in something other than the God that we got to have faith in. Like water that's too high or too low, our lives will invariably go in the wrong direction. If your life's not heading the way you want it to, check out where your faith is. Check out where your faith is. Your faith is so, so very important. And God's probably thought that of me and you and just about everybody, you people have no faith. And uh, we've gone through a situation in this country with this China virus where a lot of people basically lost their faith. They let faith be replaced by fear. And, uh, you know, they say the shortest verse in the Bible is Jesus wept. He probably has over a lot of our people's lack of faith. Here's our tip for this week. Try a Zara spook, a head and Zara spook over deep water in the fall. Bass will move several feet to get that bait. When I'm talking about deep water, I'm talking about deep water. I'm talking about water that's 40, 50, 60, 80, 100 feet deep. We like to get in the fall of the year and get down around the dam. A lot of times the lower end of the lake has huge schools and balls of shad of bait fish that gather up down there and these fish get down there around them and we can find those shad we can find those big fish now with our locators that we have my garmin live scope is just we spot those fish we, we see them and uh, and you can throw that big zara spook and a fish that's 20 30 40 feet down and, and you know a bass can see a bait easily in 30 30 feet away and identify the color 30 feet away so if he's 30 foot down you come charging up there and get that bait. Some of the biggest bass that you'll catch all year and some of those dynamite action can happen in the fall down around the dam, the lower end of the lake. The water's clear, the fish are deep, but top water action is, well, it's dynamite. <laughs> dynamite. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. And remember, yep, I love you.